Okay, we're on the north window well. Um, as you can see, we started putting the wire mesh here. Um, and then we're just gonna continue it this way. Over there and all the way down. And then we also need to still tape. So this is the tape that we're using. It's the, um, it's a concrete board tape, which is a special tape. It's a little bit stronger. So when you rub that mortar over the top of it, it doesn't fall apart on you. If you just use regular mesh tape, it starts to just tear apart. So I'm gonna have to do these seams and all these holes really quick, and then we can continue the mesh down. Boys are doing a great job. Putting on the wire mesh. See here we have that foam board back behind. Setting in between those high beams for our backing. And then we're just wrapping it tight here. Just so we're really tight up against all of our surfaces so our mud will adhere. south window well in the Kenwood building. Crews moved over to this side to start getting that wire mesh up for the parging. You can see they've got the that rigid foam backer in there covering the old steel beams here. You see how they've kind of notched it around that joint so we can get a nice tight fit. Got a couple braces up here to hold it in place while that glue is setting. So that's glued in onto that steel I-beam and then that part, that part you need to go over that on top of that steel mesh. So we're gonna do like we did on the other window well and fit it over these sections of bracing that are sticking out and then bending over that steel post there. So that's all gonna get enclosed with, wrapped around with the wire mesh like the other side. It's gonna go all the way up to this drip cap here which is just tacked in place with a couple two by fours right now just to keep it in place and then that's all gonna get parched up we're here at the Kenwood North window well you can see we've got all the wire mesh up on this side wrapped around that column you can see that was that metal I-beam that we had to bend the mesh around we got the foam backer in there kind of hold it in place and then that's all gonna get parged over Got the drip edge in over the windows. I think we showed that before. And you can see up here, we put another drip cap along that, the edge of that, that foam board that they had up before. So that's gonna create a nice transition between that upper section 
and the new parging below. And that drip edge is gonna help shed the water out over that so we avoid that problem that we had before where the water was getting in, infiltrating behind that foam backing, rusting out the old wire mesh and popping that original parging off of the wall. So hopefully that drip edge does the trick and gets nice shed out of the water over the parging and everything drains right.